Hey team, everyone from American Top Team Connecticut and Core Association, Luigi here, weekly talk. This one will be about cross-training in martial arts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Whoever is part of our community knows already why I'm recording this video. And this is due to some issue uh, from last week. One of our members went to visit a school and I thought that um, that school didn't really treat that person really well. And I would like to make sure that everybody know where I stand as far as cross training. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you one thing and uh, before I even start talking about cross training is that I don't see my students as pay members or ID numbers. I don't run a commercial school. Of course, we are business, but we are not heavily into selling merchandising and uh, controlling people at all. What I see is that every person that trains with me in my head, in my mind, and in my heart is a part of my community. It's not just a student. It's not just a paying member. And I always tell that, that if you see me as just a service provider or just a business like a Starbucks that you go pay, grab something, and walk out every day, or have a, a a membership that you know you pay me. I'm the service provider, and I you I will teach you or show you or sell you techniques. I think it's the wrong. It's not the culture of our school. Let's say it's not that it's wrong. Yeah, I think you have the freedom to think like that, but it's not the culture of our school. The culture of our school is we have a smaller school that is extremely welcoming, including uh, welcoming people coming to visit us, not just new students. And I see every single person, especially the, the regulars, the students that are every time there, I see every single one of you guys as part of my community. Some are closer to me, some are not so close to me, but regardless, I try to know everybody by the last name. I try to have a little bit of a feedback and I try to know a little bit more about all of you guys. So what I want to say is that I care, and I care a lot. And that's why sometimes, as almost as a father or as a leader, I want to, I want to protect the, com the members of my community by, say, giving everybody recommendations of where they should train, cross-train, or maybe the places that they should avoid for whatever reason. And most of the time, the reason is because I'm not confident when I say no to a place is because I'm not confident as far as like how that place will treat my student. Let me tell you how I treat people that come to our school. And if you're a member of our school, you know, number one, we don't we don't charge mat fees for visitors. We have people that come every year. They come train with us when they, when they are visiting family, when they're here for work and we have the truth is that we have the, the, the reviews from these people in our Google reviews or in our Facebook page and et cetera. People saying that every time they came to American Top Team Connecticut, they felt welcomed. They felt like part of uh, a, a team, that they were part of that team. They felt like home. Everybody treated them really well. And regardless of the belt, white belts to black belts, usually when we have a higher rank coming to visit us, I don't know if you guys noticed, but most of the time, the first row of that person is with me or I'm watching that person rolling uh, for the first time at our, our school. And the reason why I do that um, is to feel the pace, to feel the, 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 the intent of that person rolling or grappling or sparring. When I roll for the first time with somebody that I don't know, regardless of the belt, black belts, brown belts, or whoever, I don't go for submissions. I don't try to prove a point. I go for the first for the first time on that day. I I, I try to be the first uh, sparring partner, so I feel, you know, how that person will probably go against my other students. So I don't try to prove a point. And many times people didn't even like say um, maybe walked out thinking that I was any good because, you know, I'm just a big guy. I'm a black belt that just went super easy. And, and people might leave thinking that I'm not that good. When well, that's fine because I wasn't trying to prove anything to that visitor. What I was trying to do is making that visitor understand that from the black belt 
to the white belt, that visitor will be really, really well treated. We don't shoot videos of that person training because I think it's disrespectful. We Maybe the top that we do is take a group picture at the end and uh, to thank the visit and etc. So one of our members went to the school and um, and then I end up seeing this member um, rolling with the local person at the school. So I guess the coach at that school recorded our member rolling with someone there and maybe got a you know time um, or a piece of you know of the rolling and post it on Instagram where their student looked better against our student visiting. And I thought like, mm, that's that's not cool. That's kind of shady because we don't do that, right? We try to make sure that we don't record videos. We don't want to promote ourselves over anybody. And um, and that triggered me to write, you know, that post where I said that next time people should ask me because there are some places that I don't vouch for. And, um, and again, guys, I wanted you guys to know that I have cross-trained so much. I came from Brazil, already a black belt. I trained through the old school days. I trained when cross-training was not allowed at all and people would not even mention about cross-training. And I changed my mind. I learned uh, when I got to here, especially with things changing, there, there were no secrets anymore. And I think like back the day, uh, we were so competitive back in Brazil that schools didn't want to review their secrets or their spe special moves before tournaments. There was this like rivalry, but it was a competition rivalry. But, you know, YouTube came over the years in the 2000s and there's no secret anymore. And I, I saw like, well, cross training is such a positive thing. And I was happy because I have taught classes at a uh, Gracie Bajas school in Florida before. I have uh, visited many of my friends in Brazil. I have been to a place that uh, is a Brazilian top team place, Alliance. I have visited uh, Marcelo Garcia so many times in the city. I have visited uh, Gracie Sports in Aura, Connecticut. I have really good friends in Manchester at Bushido BJJ, and I have rolled there. I have rolled in so many different places outside of American Top Team or CORE. And, um, and I learned a lot from those coaches. I learned a lot from even the students from other schools. So I think that cross-training is extremely beneficial. My students are free to go anyplace else, but I want just the respect where my students come and ask me, hey, Luigi, what do you think about this school? And... For the most part, I would say that 99% of the time, I'm gonna tell my students to go cross train. So many times my student, students go travel for work or to visit family. And when they ask me, I tell them like, oh, go train. Um, I have one of my students, he always go to San Diego. So I tell him to go train, train at Salo Ribeiro's place. Um, there's, there, there's so many other places in Arizona and Nava Jiu Jitsu. I have one of my students, I was telling him, to go to Nava Jiu-Jitsu, even though we have our core BJJ in Arizona with Kelly Quarter, and so forth and so on. In Florida, I had one of my students visiting San Antonio, so I told them to go check out Brazilian top team in San Antonio. Uh, Diego Gamonal, amazing dude. So there's so many great, great people that I would say, yes, if you're visiting any other state, any other town, or even in, in our surrounding, surround, surrounding areas, Grab your gear, put your gear in a car, grab, grab your sparring equipment, and um, you know, do some research. Ask me, and I will tell you. And you, know, and you go there and you visit that school because I want to make sure that you guys get treated well. That's why. Somebody wrote a bad review for us on Google, right? Somebody went there and said that I'm controlling my students. And that's not one of our students for sure. Somebody took a screenshot of what I posted on social media and, uh, and then took out of context because they don't know where I'm coming from and then wrote a really bad review on Google. And the reality is this person doesn't know me. He doesn't know that we welcome everybody. We don't charge mad fees for the visitors. We have amazing friends in Connecticut 
We have amazing friends in New York. We have amazing friends in Massachusetts, everywhere where I always tell people to go visit. I always tell people like, hey, go check it out, that place. Go. Um, and, and the only thing I ask is bring me something back. Tell me something that I don't know. Show me some things. And um, if this person that wrote a review knew as well, they would know that we don't make people buy our stuff. We don't make our students buy only our merchandising. People have the freedom to buy the gi that they want. The only, only thing we ask is to buy a white, blue, or black gi. I don't restrict what kind of, uh, you know, training gear they will have, the, whatever rest guard they want, the collar that they want, the, the shorts. I don't make people buy our boxing gloves. I don't make people buy, like I said, our geese. The only thing I ask is like, well, if you like, get a patch, put a patch on your back. And, you know, we don't, we don't heavily advertise anywhere. We have a, we barely have advertising. It's pretty much word of mouth and the school has never been this big. So that says a lot because, and, the, and again, I'm not in a front store because if I was in a front store in a nice, you know, big plaza, I would have to be charging more of my students and we'd rather have a more affordable price. And a smaller, more like say cozy gym per se. So, so that's my opinion about cross training. Um, I'm not a controlling guy. I don't yell at my students. Um, I do scream a lot in competition training because it's to pump people up. We do have our set of rules. Um, like I said, we welcome everybody extremely, extremely well. I respect everybody's. Go, I never tell my students, never ever in my life I told my students, go super hard with that visitor. Go crush that guy and go, you know, uh, hurt him. And I know other places that would do that. And I listed uh, in my, my post when I put on my social media places that I don't uh, support because one, um, it's just like people that maybe have trained with us and um, or, or it could be somebody that did wrong by us, and I'd rather people to ask me first before going there, which was one of the case, uh, like, from last week. And that's how I'll ask people from. Now, if my students go there uh, and they come back like, oh, they treated me really, really well, that's awesome. That's like it changes everything. But when I have students going visit these places that I mentioned in my social media and they come back like, man, they were just trying to hurt me. Or they were just going super hard trying to take my head off. Or, you know, kind of things like that. Why would I want my other team members and community to go to these places? So be smart. Check before you go uh, cross-train on any place else. Make sure that, um, you know, it's a, it's a place where people are welcome. That uh, regardless of anything, regardless of what you, uh, the other coach thinks about us or about me, uh, you're going to be well treated and go cross train. We have so many, uh, like I said, in our sur uh, you know, surrounding areas, like so many amazing schools, many other teams. I don't want to name everybody because I really care and I really love all these other black belts that are great people. So I don't want to forget anybody and then, um, and then look like, you know, I didn't care. But I care a lot. And I always tell my guys, we have guys that constantly cross training, at least like weekly at another school. I have guys that come weekly to our school to cross train and everybody is extremely welcome. We have our rules and and people know exactly our rules where I don't tolerate some things from students. Number one, I don't tolerate when people hold submissions and I kick people out of my school. I don't tolerate when people try to be, I want to be the tough dude and, and that dude doesn't want to tap to a submission and... Um, end up like being like a big problem, a big issue because that can cause an injury. So I don't tolerate people that hold submissions. I don't tolerate people that go to, you know, to the last second uh, to tap and then end up like with a broken arm. Thank God we never had that case in our school. I don't tolerate that. I don't tolerate bullies. I don't tolerate people that uh, are verbal or physical bullies. I don't tolerate people that have a... Uh, any behavior that is not, say, healthy on the mats, especially towards women, people that are respectful, um, 
And that's pretty much it, you know. So I ask people, and, and of course, if any people, any, any, any of our members that get in trouble outside the gym because they fought uh, for no reason, because they, you know, it wasn't a self-defense situation, people that are troublemakers, people that are, um, we had cases like that. I had to tell people like, hey, we, 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 we heard that you did this. I saw a video that you did this. And um, this is your last chance. And then I had people that I have given a, a, a second chance. I have people that I have given like many, many other chances. And I have people that, you know, because it was something serious, I didn't give a, a, a second chance. So that's my stance as far as cross training. Uh, unfortunately, this person that doesn't know me uh, saw a screenshot, took out of context, and thought that I, you know I'm a controlling guy, which I'm not. What I tell people, and I learned this from great other, from other great masters, is people go cross train, and if you find that some place is better than us, or if you feel like more welcome in another place, that's great, man. It's just like you know, that's the beauty of you can go train anyplace else. I did that, you know, in my life, and. I have trained with people that at some point I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I want to go someplace else. And I have done that. And I say, like, you know, I try to provide the best class. I try to have mindful classes with a lot of thought behind. And we have a lot of uh, people supporting us. So um, that's what we have to offer. And if people are not happy with what we have to offer, here's the deal. Free market, free country. You go place, you go train at any place you want. And... I don't have that creonchi thing. I don't have like that, um, you know, people still are welcome to come here. As long as they they keep a, a good, um, you know, relationship or they are respectful, they come train and they train well, they don't try to hurt others, they don't bad, bad mouth us, we don't bad mouth anybody, that's what it is. My restrictions is just to protect, um, and then it's just like a few, the only thing I ask, like I said, is just to protect the members of my community, the people that I consider my family, people that I spend a good amount amount of time every day with, every week, every month, every year, people that have been training with me for 19 years, going 20 years with me. Um, so that's what it is. Maybe it's a little father of me trying to protect my students, but I never ran my school with iron fist. I don't want to do that. It's That's too, too exhausting, and I don't want to ever have to run like that like you know you go uh whoop this guy's butt and crush that visitor and never go do this and don't drink outside don't do that don't you know like what you do outside our gym is your life as long as you're not doing anything criminal any uh uh thing that is bad you're not stealing you're not you know doing things that would be bad for your reputation for our reputation other than that it's just about brazilian jiu-jitsu guys and just like cross training is great and unfortunately, people took out of context, took that screenshot, posted someplace else. Guy that doesn't know what we do, post a bad review, don't understand my point of view and think that I, the guy said, <laughs> I tried to control my students. Oh, my God. That's like more than far from reality. But anyway, guys, that's cross training. Go cross train. That's a great thing. Go check the other core schools, many places to go train. Go train at non-core schools. If you're going to any place like, you know, you don't you don't know, you're not sure, ask me and I will tell you like this is not a good place. I would like you to not go there just because I don't think you're gonna be well treated. But if you wanna go, go check for yourself and let me know after. All right. So thank you guys. Have a great week.